Hi, my name's Carol Hansen, and I inspire women who have a wardrobe full of clothes but nothing to wear. I help them to look and feel fabulous every time they get dressed. Let me ask you a question. How often have you convinced yourself that you've got the skills and expertise to do a particular thing that you're not doing and that you will get round to it? You just need the time to put it into practice. But how often does that thing not actually make it to the top of your to-do list and become a regular part of your life? Hands up, I've been there and I was doing exactly that with video. I'd got out of the habit of doing video, um, either pre-recorded or doing live videos. And I was making every excuse under the sun not to do it even though I knew it would be good for my business. So finally acknowledged it and recognized that I needed some outside help. That it wasn't that I didn't know how to do it, although we can always use some extra tips and techniques. And let's face it, the technology is always changing, particularly on social media and video. So it's always good to have some advice from people who are right in the know and have a real interest in what those changes are. I needed those nuggets, but more than that, I needed that regular accountability, that focus, and also being part of a program, that support group around me of others who were doing exactly the same thing. Some of them further ahead in their video journey, others struggling a bit like me. So I signed up to a program that's gonna help me to become more productive when it comes to video. And already I'm proving it. I've done about four or five live videos. I've done some pre-recorded videos and let's face it, I've got my video mojo back. So why am I telling you this? It's not to encourage you to get on video and especially not if you're not feeling comfortable about it or it's not relevant to what you do. But it is to use the analogy of my um, not getting on with video to your wardrobes and how sometimes we think that we can muddle along without any help at all. Um, we think that as women, we should have an innate sense of style of how to dress, how to accessorize and put outfits together. But somehow it should have been passed down through generation to generation. But I have to say, rarely is that the case. And in my experience, it's also that those who've had the most stylish and fashionable mothers have probably struggled the most with their own sense of style in later life. Maybe last March, you said about thinking, well, now this is the time. Now that we're in lockdown. I can now do a major declutter and get rid of all those clothes I've been holding on to for far too long. Maybe I can even start trying to experiment with a few outfits, even if I'm not going out, putting different combinations together, trying different accessories. You'd make an effort. But in truth, you've probably still got a bulging wardrobe and you're probably still relying on a handful of outfits that are season favorites. And you might even be bored with your clothes as a result. So how do you break this cycle? Well, you need a plan, a plan to get out of it, a plan with regular advice, focus and tips, with encouragement and support from me and from other people, whenever you get dressed so that you feel and look amazing. And the good news is stay tuned because I've got a major announcement coming next week about just that. That's Carol Hansen helping you to look and feel fabulous every time you get dressed.